Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we are in Markham and we are looking at this 2016 Honda CRV. It's got 46,000 kilometers on it. Overall, it's in pretty nice condition. No signs of major accident or anything like that. Uh, I did paint thickness verification and we have no repainted panels or anything of that nature. There are a couple of small bumps and bruises. Uh, the biggest one being on this passenger front door at the bottom here. Looks like it's just a little, uh, little scrape. Needs some touch up. Uh, we don't want to. If you leave it too long, we'll get some rust in there. Other than that, though, there's a couple of little tiny, minor scratches here and there. Nothing through the paint or anything. All looks pretty good for the most part. Tail lights all look good. Uh, all the windows are original Honda windows, so there has been nothing replaced. Again, that tail light looks nice. Everything lines up well. No signs of uh, the next biggest scratch is right here. This is the driver's door, but it's on the driver rear, driver side rear door. Just a bit of a scratch right there. Other than that, though, it looks pretty good. Uh, no issues with the windshield. Everything looks nice. They, like I said, they are original, all original Hondas. Uh, here's a VIN verification for you. So that does match up. We have no issues with that. I said front fascia, I think I said this front fascia, everything looks good. I don't see any major damage or anything like that. All looks pretty straightforward, pretty nice. Tires, we'll start at the front left or driver's side tire. Uh, it looks to be in pretty good shape. We have matching uh, 2016 Continentals. Their tread depth is pretty decent. There's about seven thirty seconds of tread. I think one of them is six, but mostly seven. Look pretty good, I don't see any, any real issues. Brakes, front brakes are looking pretty good. Rotors look pretty nice. A uh, little bit of a lip, but nothing too much, not too much wear. Pads are pretty good, there's about 75% left on them. Suspension components, everything looks pretty nice. I don't see any signs of issue under here. All the boots are good, no major rust or any real issues and that goes for the rest of back here as well all looks pretty good go to the passenger side front and we find a matching coupe uh, continental 2016 and this one I think it was the one with a little bit less on it was about six thirty seconds of tread but again they look pretty good no strange wear pattern or anything like that brakes same as the other side Pretty decent with about 75% of the pads left on them. Uh, the dealer did state that the car has not been uh, certified yet. So anything like that that they deem replaceable, they're going to replace and uh, get it ready to go. They did say something about a year warranty or something like that, that you don't have to worry about any of it. So you're set when it comes to that stuff. Rear tires, again, pretty good 2016 Coopers, about 7.30 seconds of tread. They'll look pretty nice. Rear brakes are a little lower, uh, not too bad. And the pads, you can see there, they're about 50%, maybe 45. Let's go a little under 50, let's say 45. No rust or issues under here, factory markings still there. Everything looks pretty good. Everything is indicative of that 46,000 original kilometers. So you know, no major issues. No see damage or anything like that in the undercarriage. It looks pretty nice. And the last tire, again, about 730 seconds of tread on the matching Continental with a 2016 build date and the brakes are similar to the other side, about 45% left. Look in the interior. Seems to be pretty decent. I mean, no major issues. We have the floor mats here, a little salt stained, but not ripped or dirty or anything like that. Uh, the carpet under here looks pretty good. Like I said, the car still needs to be cleaned for delivery, but it looks pretty good. Under here, we do have the jack, spare tire, and roadside kit. Everything looks pretty good. 
Headliner looks good. It's not damaged or anything like that. A little bit of a uh, little, couple little tiny marks here from putting something in, but nothing too danger. Privacy curtain looks nice. No signs of issue. And these seats, uh, these levers on either side, they do work and the seats do go down just as they should. On both sides, I'll show you here. So they do exactly what they should do. Everything works, looks good. Now we're to the back seats. Door panels look pretty nice. A little dirt, but uh, nothing that can't be cleaned. I think that's that'll all look pretty good once it's cleaned. And these seats fold up just as they should as well. You can see this passenger side of it, it looks pretty nice. Again, just needs a cleaning, but nothing major. Seat belts all look good. Carpets are decent. No major issues. Seat backs look good. Headliner again looks pretty nice all around. Passenger front door panel looks pretty good. See no damage or signs of issue. This seat uh, looks pretty good. Again, needs a, maybe a good shampooing. Uh, that looks like there's maybe some sweat stains or something. I don't know. Uh, but with a good cleaning, it should come out all right. I don't see rips, tears, or anything like that. Carpet under here looks pretty decent. No major issues. Uh, in the glove box, we do have the owner's manual present. And all the paperwork. Dash top looks good. No signs of wear and tear or anything like that. Overall, the interior is in nice shape. Just needs a bit of a cleaning, which I'm sure they'll do before delivery. So it looks pretty good. Dash top looks nice. No wear and tear on the steering wheel, anything like that. All looks pretty good. Carpet looks good. A little staining, but uh, again with the cleaning, I'm sure it'll all look pretty good. Seats are not worn on this side. Center console looks good. I see no major wear and tear or anything like that. Oh, it looks pretty good. Turn the ignition on. We do see there 46, 184. Uh, services do 10% more of life left. I'm assuming they will take care of all that. That's basically what they said. Everything seems to turn on and uh, start the car here. Everything does seem to work. Touch screen. Uh, audio, there we go. So everything. No point going after. Everything does seem to work. Well, it's standing now. So everything does seem to work. Uh, air conditioning is blowing cold. So AC and heat, everything works, all these different functions, so everything does seem to work just as it should. Max AC works. Everything seems to be exactly in order. Take a look under the hood real quick. And again, we found no real issues. So, under here, it's a little dusty, but uh, I see no signs of major leaks or anything like that. Uh, belts look good, hoses look good. Everything is to be as expected. Oil looks good, as there is no frothing or anything like that under the cap. And I did it. Oh, it's a little tight. I tightened it up pretty good. Uh, I did check that before, it looks nice. Uh, oil tested, we have no contamination or signs of problem. Uh, it does need to be changed, but then it looks good. Battery is good, sitting at um, just about 13 and charging at 14.8 or so. Brake fluid, we have 1% humidity, so no major deal. And coolant also looks nice and clean, so we have no issues there. Negative 43 on that coolant. So, seems to run nice. We're gonna take it on a bit of a test drive now, make sure everything works. Make sure it drives nice. 
but for the most part it looks like a pretty straightforward low kilometer vehicle so once again this is AJ with car inspected thanks for watching and we'll see you next time